There's rumors out on the internet that you are recently married. Mm -hmm. Are those rumors true? No, those rumors are not true. It's not true. true. You're not not currently married (laughs) to Jim Jim Jones. Jones. I am not married to Jim Jones. Listen, (laughs) let me tell you guys something. This is the craziest viral that I've ever been in my whole entire life. Because I like wake up one day, you know, I do my whole routine, read my devotionals and positive stuff. And then I go on my Instagram and I see like fake pages like, you know, you took Jim. And I'm like... I didn't block the page. I said, who is Jim? Because a bitch is single. So I'm like, who is Jim? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the hell is going on? And they just responded back with like laughing faces. I didn't think anything of it. I have been in my bag creating from my getting ready, relaunching my website, creating for my businesses, taking care of my personal business, my kids, like I'm so off the radar, you know, and and sometimes you get to a point in your life where, well, this is where I have been for the last few weeks where God just kind of sat me quiet, you know, and I've really just been in a very quiet space to myself. So when I see this, I'm I'm like, who's Jim? Like, this is, you know, they sent back the laughing faces. Now I'm seeing people commenting on my TikTok or my Instagram, Mm. and I'm still it's not saying Jim Jones. Like, right. I'm, and I'm not even thinking that, you know, like, cause mm-hmm. that's so fucking random. Do you, do you know Jim Jones? I do not. Like, I <laughs> love him. You don't even know him. No. You never, <laughs> been a, you never been a picture with him? This is what I, got, I, that was my next thing. They took <laughs> pictures and edit from my wedding with my ex husband and put Jim's face on that it. That is hilarious. <laughs> Damn. So I, I, when it first started happening, before it grew these legs and went viral <laughs> this way, because it grew some legs and it just went running like it ran a race. So before that happened, I had went on my TikTok and I was once I figured out that it was Jim Jones because now people are saying like I stole this woman's man. Mm. And I'm like, first of all, I love Chrissy. I think she's beautiful. I don't know her personally, but I've watched her over the years, you know. And I'm a girl's girl. I don't need to steal nobody's man. It's mm. so I could get my own man. Like that's one thing that I don't have a problem doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I went on my TikTok and I said, I said, okay, I'm going to go live. And I'm like, somebody's going to screen record it and they'll clear this up. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not going to post it on my page, but right. somebody could screen record it, send it to the blog, you know, whatever. And I was like, look, you guys, I am not married to Jim Jones. Like, I do not know him. I think they're amazing. I don't know what they're going through, if they're going through something. Not my business, not my fight. I'm on the West Coast. They're on the East Coast. Like, (laughs) how did this even come about? So I do this whole, you know, like, I don't know him. It's not true. The rumors are fake. Once I did that, people, even my friends were like, we know that you're private. And if you don't want to tell us, right. Because I'm like, no, it's not true. (laughs) They're like, we know that you're private. And if you don't want to say anything right now, you know, whenever you're ready to tell us. I said, girl, I'm fucking like, (laughs) I'm private, but not that. Tell my girls, you know what I'm saying? And like, where is he? (laughs) Where are the pictures? I'm on FaceTime with my friends. Like, you don't hear no man in the background. Like, this is nuts. So, wait a minute. Did Jim reach out to you and be like, what the fuck? No. Nobody nobody on their side even said, what's going on? Why would they ask? me well because they don't know where it stemmed from so they're I don't like either. i know you Are don't you interested in jim no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no no i got a tight this is like a manifestation uh, no marriage. <laughs> You guys are gonna no. come together. Listen, I'm newly divorced, so I'm chilling right now. So it says that's the thing. Your friends say you're very private. I'm looking stuff up, and it's like no Seems one like knows. You're private. No one knows who <laughs> she moves in silence. No one knows who like the parent, the yeah, the baby daddies are. Yeah, it's not that's their why business. I was hoping you were gonna. I, I was like, oh, is she, is she gonna shout one out? He, he's Did. private. Yeah, he's private. He lives okay, a private yeah. life, and I respect that. You know, my life is my life. We're great friends. I literally just came from out of town with them, you know, and it's being held down. The secret's being held. 
It's not that it's a secret. It's just that oh. I live a public, private life. Yeah. That's mm. it. Some things are public. How do you navigate that? The same way I've been doing it for 20 years. <laughs> if you don't know the juice, I don't, I don't gatekeep. But I might tell you after the podcast. <laughs> Can't tell you right now. But yeah, I mean, you know, you, I put my life, my life on the table. The things that pertain to me, you know, which include my children, who I'm in a relationship with at the time, if this is something that they're interested in doing. Um, my family, you know, some of my family members are like, hell no. You know, some of my family members are like, cool, what's up? What do you need? And it's not so much because they're chasing something in television. It's just that you're a part of what's going on in my life right now. So I need you to tell your side or to put your two cents in or to give me advice like what we do in real life you know like my dad has appeared on the show with me my mom my brother my my daughter my youngest son now as of recent because he never did before because I always protected him so much too because of the issues that he had over the years we've right. talked about yeah. that so you know my oldest son has appeared on the show but my youngest son now is 20 years old and I felt like okay you can make your own decision now you know but we have been through so much is that people didn't know like I had heard rumors that you know I was a terrible mother and that I didn't raise my son and um all this bullshit Not that must no. be so tough to deal with when it you is. hear like you're married to Jim Jones you're yeah. a terrible mother mm -hmm. and I know you to be such the opposite of that right like just the nicest sweetest person thank you and very serious and entrepreneurship and all that stuff and then you hear these crazy things yeah does that drive you crazy no <laughs> Damn. no it's like you know um you know let me just say when I first started in the business video vixens we didn't have a voice you just saw us in music videos and that was it so it was like when I did the video with 50 cent and I was like um oh it's like that you know that was a big deal of like Wait, oh, what she, video was that that was um candy shop Ooh. candy shop okay. so yeah so 50 and I are sitting on the bench I and knew I recognized you somewhere. you know you see <laughs> now you see the resemblance I seen them things <laughs> 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 so you know when I'm pointing at him and I'm like oh it's like that that was such a big deal back then because I had a voice right. and video vixens don't and so um, that was a big deal then doing being a wild and out girl that opened up the doors for me to show like I can do improv like off the top of my head I can do like rap battles you know like we had fun and um, and then coming into television having a voice and being able to tell your story it's just certain things that I already I guess had thick skin from you know from starting off as a video vixen and starting in an industry that was dominated more with light skinned women and I had to like not so much fight for myself but I did have to advocate for myself in a lot of ways mm. you know but I did have producers like Benny Boom, Gil Green that were like amazing and just put you on the map and never question anything. Just like, you're a beautiful brown girl. Like, I want you here, you know? Right. And so, um, and then doing covers of magazines and some girls feeling like, oh, you know, she don't deserve it, you know? And, and I do. Like, why don't I? So I had tough skin from those things. And then hearing, like, you know, that um, I'm married to Jim Jones, which is a complete <laughs> fucking lie. And then, um, you know, or that I'm a bad mom. It's like, no, like I drove my kids to school, picked them up every day track. My daughter was an MVP track star. She's in AP classes in high school. My son has been an A. My oldest son has been in AP classes since junior high school, played football, was going to Memphis University for engineering. Mm. He can do numbers like a mathematician off the top of his head like he taught himself stocks and he, like he's amazing you know my youngest son has struggled over the years since a very young age and I always protected him from this because it's just it's a lot it's right. a lot and it's his it's his story I have my story with it but it's his story to tell you know mm. 